You just have to try to control the ankle motion. So how do we learn to control this lateral motion and make it become from instinctive to controlled? First of all, we have to understand that this is an ankle motion. So we have to, as with all the other ankle motion technique, we have to isolate the ankle from the rest of the leg. Okay, so first of all, we have to make sure that our leg is not involved in the motion and so we can start um, the first very first step it's gonna be without pedals without anything but our body okay so we have to control our body first we have to educate this motion from our body first so we make sure that the ankle is uh, isolated from the legs so we make sure that we can also hold our leg and make sure that the energy of the motions comes from the ankle okay and especially from the heel and this is different from the heel up which comes from the toes the motion comes from the toes here the motion com comes laterally from the heel you can think of the motion pushing inside or outside depending on how it's easier for you for me um, personally I think of pushing in and uh, then uh, the foot will start to swing so it'll automatically go a little bit out but we have to control that the motion it's gonna be as much inside as outside let's make sure that our motion doesn't go all the way in and then slightly out because then we will have a shuffle feel because the motion won't be regular so the pedal won't work in a regular with a regular motion this is the reason number one of why people hurt themselves um, playing the swivel technique it's because a lot of times they involve the leg on the motion and this creates a lot of rotation on the knee and in time all this motion and rotation will hurt yourself so instead if we isolate the leg the knee is not so involved there is a little bit of motion but it's not a motion that it's gonna hurt you because um, it's not a large uh, range of motion so um, the knee is actually barely involved it's more on your ankle so this is reason number one and it's the very first thing that we have to pay attention to let's do the same thing then with your our left foot so let's make sure let's hold our leg in order to block the block it and make sure that we're just um, doing the motion with our foot and our ankle after we did this let's make sure that we don't push on the floor that we don't press on the floor okay and here the balance uh, has a big role so let's make sure we keep the balance in the correct position and we just have to deal with the weight of our leg so if I had a tennis ball under my foot I wouldn't squash it while I, would, I was doing this exercise okay it's just literally my foot it's laid just literally laid on the floor there's no pressing at all why is it dangerous to press the pedal on the floor um, or the foot on the floor if we press we give a lot of pressure to the knee of course and even if it's a little bit involved it's still pressing down and having a rotation going so that creates a lot of pressure to the knees and it's dangerous this also happens with many other techniques though um, not only um, with the swivel this can happen with the heel toe for double strokes and many other techniques but um, since the swivel it's a little bit harder to coordinate and to get it down and learn it um, this caused more problems than other techniques uh, so far so uh, let's make sure we don't press on the floor and then we will see on the pedals why this uh, benefits also the playing in the power of um, the swivel